Last year, we sort of made a bold claim, which is that we would see AI really begin to explode in 2018. Amidst a lot of the hype, this is actually starting to become real. AI is beginning to transform people's lives, transform the way that we do business, and solve some of society's most fundamental challenges. The question, though, is when you look at the enterprise, you actually start to see huge interest, but low adoption. There's a number of barriers that we see. You can look at a research, for instance, from Gartner, where there's 46% of enterprises that are beginning to plan short-term and long-term AI deployments. There's only 21% that are actually piloting right now, and only 4% that have adopted and deployed AI. There's a number of barriers. Everything from culture of a company, do you have a data management strategy in place, to a skills deficit. In recent years, we've seen everything from the ability that we have to process information in the cloud, massive amounts of data as the world has been digitized around us, and then these powerful algorithms that make sense of that data. There's a tendency to want to jump all the way out to AI implementation to focus on the technology. And a lot of enterprises don't even have their data house in order. Do you have a data management strategy in place, first of all, to get that data so that it's not siloed, so that you can manage unstructured data, and then use that in terms of AI deployment? AI is nothing without data. There's millions of developers in the world today, but probably only thousands of true data professionals or data scientists that understand AI can actually implement it within organizations. One of the things that we're doing from a technology perspective is providing services that require very few lines of code. They're already pre-built so that they can be employed and infused into applications that you already have as a company. Another area that we're doing is automating machine learning so that if I'm just a regular developer, I don't have to learn machine learning models and then figure out how that can work through the complexity. One of the challenges that you have in terms of barriers is it goes back to culture. From a leadership perspective, is there buy-in in terms of this vision around AI and what you can do with it? In order to get there, there has to be this understanding mutually across teams within an organization that this is our strategy. We have to be able to share data across this system. Adobe is running a program where they require all of their engineers across the company to take courses for several months that bring them up to speed and expose them to AI development and understanding machine learning. Imagine a kid that goes into a toy store and you've got all these shiny toys in front of you. That's a little bit of the parallel that you see in AI in the enterprise right now. We recognize there's this huge, tremendous potential to transform the way that we do business processes, to transform our productivity as employees. And yet, we sometimes lack the skills, don't know where to start, where to begin. So you have to sort of step back from that and assess where is our maturity as an enterprise when it comes to AI.